Hello everyone, welcome to the Narc Survivor YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why you must never forget what the narcissist did to you. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk. This is why you must never forget what the narcissist did to you. Forgiveness is completely separate from forgetting. You can forgive the narcissist, but you should never forget what they did to you. Because the narcissist is incapable of change. They are permanently stuck in a loop of dishing out trauma, drama and chaos. And this is something that they are bound to. It is a hell hole from which they can never escape, even if they wanted to. So forgetting the lessons learned from a mistake in judgment or action will lead to repeated patterns of hurt. Because the narcissist can never heal or recover, there is no cure for their lifelong condition. So they will always be stuck with this psychopathology. Which is why you must never forget what they did to you. Because no matter how much it may look like they've changed or they're moving on, or they're so much happier now without you, the reality is that they will always have this mental condition. So it is important to look back and identify their toxic behaviours, such as the gaslighting, triangulation and the smear campaign. Because once you begin your healing journey, you will start to question yourself. Because you're no longer on that same wavelength. You're no longer vibrating at the same frequency that they're operating on. And because most people don't openly talk about these things, you may feel isolated. Because you don't have anyone to validate your experience. There's no one there for you to confirm what you actually went through, which is exactly what the narcissist wants. Because they don't want you to remember what happened. They want you to become a shell of yourself. They want to steal your joy from you so that you become less strong, healthy and lively. And then you're no longer as powerful or useful as you once were. Because then you've lost your identity and your self-worth, which is exactly what they want. They want you to remain stuck in a loop. Because it's the same loop they're stuck in, only they're rotating on the surface of this endless loop. You were not aware of this loop, so how could you possibly know? But you may find that whatever notes you wrote down about their behaviours in the past are still accurate today. Because the narcissist doesn't change. They don't have the ability to change. They can only fine-tune their manipulation. By making small adjustments to it in order to achieve their desired performance. Which is why by being aware of what they did to you, it should remind you of what role you played in that situation. It should help to provoke action and effort. And it should remind you that who you were back then is not who you are now. Because who you are now is stronger and wiser, mentally, physically, emotionally and financially. You have risen from the gashes. You have emerged renewed, revitalized and reborn. And you will continue to heal and grow. But it will take a lot of time. And during that time you must remember what happened. Because you may begin to doubt yourself. And you may feel like your current situation was unexpected. Which is a good sign. Because it means that you are emerging from the feelings of fear, guilt and obligation. That the narcissist put you in. And when you're in it, you don't know that you're in it. Because as Albert Einstein once said, you cannot solve a problem with the same mind that created it. Narcissists are at the lowest level of consciousness, which is why their feelings of shame often bring pain and destruction, so they are constantly suffering. They see themselves and other people in a very despising way. They see their lives as miserable. They feel small, and that is why they hide. 
and it's also what causes their desire for perfectionism. It causes them to become rigid, intolerant and moral extremists to where they project their own unconscious shame onto you, which may cause you to feel vulnerable. And once you go into contact, you become conscious of it. You realize that you were the glue that held everything together by being good and honest and by being reluctant to harm them. While they were abusing you in every way imaginable, in every possible way that they could. And now you are healing until finally you will no longer care about the narcissist. But in order to get to that point, you will have to remember things. You will have to process the emotions and speak to a therapist or coach. You will have to heal childhood wounds and set strong boundaries by self-isolating in order to protect yourself. Because narcissists have a mental illness, which means that they can only make you sick they can only be wicked and unpleasant, which will cause you pain, suffering, misery, distress, trouble and hardship. So as a victim, you may naturally not feel like going out or connecting with friends or family members. And even if you wanted to, there wouldn't be many people you could connect to anyway, because most people are asleep. They don't have that level of awareness. But once you've been through a narcissistic relationship, you begin to see things as they are, rather than how you wanted to see them. Which is why it's very important to maintain healthy boundaries, because you can be sucked back into it. And after the relationship has ended, you may be doubting yourself, because you may still be trauma bonded to the narcissist. You may still care about them, and you may think that they care about you. But the narcissist never cared about you. They never wanted to help you. And they were never going to be anything advantageous for you because they're not even a benefit to themselves. They don't even put themselves in a superior position because they don't care about anyone other than themselves. They rarely reflect on the past. They don't think about the future. They're only focused on the here and now because they're predators, so they live for the moment, which is how they can suddenly do something completely different from what they were doing before. They can instantly change focus or switch abruptly to something new because they're always looking for something better. So they can drop anything at any moment for whatever will give them more supply or for whatever is more stimulating to them, which is why they cannot introspect it's why they cannot heal. They can't ever be accountable for themselves. They can't ever look in the mirror. They can only blame you because they need supply. They need to feel stimulated, which means that they are doomed. They're an ongoing disaster. They're constantly failing and they will never recover. They can only keep existing and trap people into their web of lies and deceit because that is what keeps the simulation going. But once you've severed ties with them, you realize how toxic they are. You realize that they will never change or elevate. Because the only way that they can survive is by stealing people's lights, energy, empathy, time, money and resources. So they will take anything they can. But no matter what they take or how much they take, it will never be enough. They will always need more. And it's a pursuit that will never end because they're always looking for something better. They're always looking for the next shiny new toy. Because no matter what they have, it's never enough. There isn't anything that can stabilize the narcissist. So they will never be at peace. They will always be erratic and unpredictable. And they will always have this tendency to cause emotional or mental instability in you because they have to distract themselves. They have to cheat lie and steal. They have to mislead you. Because otherwise, you will come to the conclusion that they're just a pathetic excuse for a human being because you don't get anything good out of them. You don't get anything enjoyable or pleasant or anything that's of benefit or advantage to you. You get unpleasantness 
evil and harm because they are toxic and they like to control and influence people. So they will have caused you a lot of unhappiness. At any time that things seemed good, they were wearing a mask. They were tricking and deceiving you in order to trap you. They were making you think that things were going to improve. While they only got worse over time until they became a collapsed narcissist because you stopped building them up. You stopped being a source of supply for them. So then they became unable to uphold their grandiose, confident image. And instead you may have witnessed their intense emotional reactions to humiliation or failure. Because they feel rejected. They know you no longer believe in their lies. They know they can't manipulate you in the way that they used to. Which is why they were always looking for your replacement. They were always looking for new supply. And it's why you never knew if you were going to get Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. But this is why you should never forget what they did to you. You should never forget all the times they gaslighted and triangulated you. You should never forget all of their made up stories. And you should never forget the smear campaign. Because it should remind you that they were trying to create differences or disagreements in order to produce tension. They were separating people into groups because they were not trying to build. They were trying to divide and conquer. They wanted to maintain control by making people disagree and fight each other so that they will not join together. So they were trying to get the better of people and they were trying to get better at their craft of manipulation. They were not trying to improve themselves because they are the exact opposite of you. They are not the best thing since sliced bread. They are your enemy because they are envious and jealous of you. They wanted to be you. They wanted to steal your light because they do not possess your qualities, which is why they needed to capture you and place you in the trauma bond by devouring you because it made them feel better about themselves. It supplied them with your energy while it was depleting you. They wanted what they couldn't have. They wanted you, but they didn't have any empathy, love or compassion, which is how they could never get you. Because all they had was an illusion. And it's why every narcissistic relationship has an expiry date. Because it soon deteriorates and it, then it becomes very unpleasant. And then you realize that it wasn't what you thought it was. It was what it was. And although you may feel like you missed the narcissist, it's only because you're still stuck in the trauma bond. Because the relationship never served you and it never will. Which is why you must leave them behind. And by doing that, you will develop new friendships. Your health and finances will return. And you will begin to understand things more clearly. Which all begins by reminding yourself about what happened to you. Because you need to be honest and authentic with yourself. Which is something the narcissist will never do. All they will do is change their mask for the new supply. And the older they get, the more miserable they will become. Because they will damage good relationships with anyone who genuinely cares about them. They cannot introspect. They cannot change. They can only deteriorate. They can only get worse over time. Which is why they have to use people and things to distract themselves. Because the content of their mind causes them great suffering. Which is why they have a distorted thought process. And they have so many different masks for each person and each situation. But eventually it catches up to them. Once they've pushed all of the good people away. And then they're left with nothing but people who are just like themselves. As it gradually consumes them. And it causes them a narcissistic injury of their own making. Because the people they surround themselves with are actually to their own detriment. And that's just their fate. But your fate is to remember what happened. And to never forget what they did to you. Because then you will grow and you will elevate. And you will become the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching. If you found this very helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. 
If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.